Okay, happy Sunday. We are back, and we are on fire. Alright. But I think we killed everybody. Or, no, no. Not everybody. Everybody outside. Oh, you shifty poots. No, I'm just kidding. Usually there's a couple of those, like, uh, invisible snipers in here, but I think I might have killed them, too. Alright. Ah! Pressure the pipeline so high, a little force will pop it like a blister. Get back to the pipeline and bring your vehicle. <laughs> I got an idea. Yeah, I just was thinking about how funny that is. Happy Holy Day to everybody that treats Sunday as a holy day. I mean, I do too. I'm not super religious, but I am spiritual. Like, definitely more of like a hippie, yuppie, like, communing with nature type person. Oh, Coloradoan. I mean, a lot of us are kind of yuppies like that. Boulder a little too much with the gentrification, but you know, there's a lot of Californians coming in and gentrifying things, and they're learning. We're adjusting and we're adapting, but I think together we're kind of combining to make a better version of both, but at the same time, but anyways. But at the same time, coming from Buena Vista, like, we were a completely tourist-generated economy. Like, the burger joint that I worked at for my first uh, job as a summer job all through high school was specifically for all the river uh, river rafting enthusiasts that would come out and try river rafting. So, and we dealt with only the wealthy people of all these places for the most part. Or like, or the wealthier. So we didn't get to see, like, the average regular people, the majority of the people there. So, because you gotta realize that most of America is like lower middle class. Especially now, but I mean, even before, like middle class to lower middle class. Like, there's like the 1%, the wealthy elite. Ah, your you liver is a hood ornament! Oh, and we'll let that heal up a bit. Not that it matters, I mean. We're gonna ram it into that pipe and bust the pipe, but like, uh, or try to anyway. Spoilers! No, I'm just kidding. People that have played this are like, what are you talking about? That's not a thing. It's definitely, I assure you, it bursts. So, but anyways, no, the point is, is like, I'm getting a lot of discussions going on the Twitters or the X, not the drug, the app, but, and see, I hate that I have to say that. It could be like the double X, like the, no, quad X. Oh, squad X. Because there's so much potential for that. That is like a little marketing blip right there. Vroom. Son of a puta. Yeah. You can get to the stockade through the pipeline now. Get inside, find out where Jack's got the warrior. Oh, you know what? I could probably get flagged for that because that is Spanish cursing. Oh, oh. oh I apologize if that offends anybody. I really, I go back and forth with setting these to mature audiences only anyway. So I'm not upset if YouTube, uh, because they say that they don't monetize you. I'm actually, I'm not monetized, so there's not really that. But even if I did become big one day, I don't want to get off on the wrong foot with YouTube. Like, that's not cool. Plus, they're the greater company of Google, which I'm very intricately linked. A lot of my family is intricately linked in the Google uh, space or whatever you want to call it. Because um, a lot of my family are educators. You know, I've got, like, one relative who is, like, an, administer, an administrator for a school. Uh, like was principal and now is like I think like up one higher or whatever that is. Also look at that. Oh wait, you can do that. That's right. If you can get in here. Yeah, it's trash anyway. And I think you can get it in there. Oh sorry. That's hard to see. Yeah. Okay, there we go. We can just. There is a ladder. And so if we marked this on the map, be like, look out for a place right. Here, then we could probably find the entrance to that. But you can also just do it through the wall like that. There might be other things over there, though. I mean, I wouldn't put it past the creators of Borderlands to do that. Like, especially if they figured out. Oh no! Wait, I do need this one. Ah! Ambush! Ooh. 
<laughs> no, thank you. Wait, so that's where we came up. Yeah. That's like some James Bond stuff. We busted through the thing. And now if we're going here, let's just go look at it right now before we like get looting and everything. Like already I'm looking for like holes in the ground because that's, that's something that Borderlands 2 likes to do. Um, specifically in the, uh, what is it? Um, where you fight the slabs. There's a hole in the bridge that you can fall under and get one of Salvador's, uh, the gunslinger's lore. Huh. So... I mean, I don't think you can fall off of here. Because then you're stuck where... Yeah, because like, you could have just driven around here and come up here. So it has to be like a cliff that only has an entrance there. So, it's nothing down below. Like, yeah, see, that would look like a perfect spot. Type of place. Maybe it's on top and then it goes all the way down. Or maybe it's just a tease. I don't know. That could be... I don't think I've ever gotten it that other way. Just because one time I got up there to kind of just, like, take a, a look and see if I could get any clues. And it said, you know, push square to <laughs> open. And I was like, alright. You know, I'll take that. Just reach through the bars. So, anyways, we're not even looting. We're just getting ammo because we're still, we're not broke. I mean, what are we at? Yeah, two grand now. So we could afford some ammo. Some ammo, like ten boxes almost. Now ten boxes, maybe. No, not even quite. But I think they're like 250. Come to me, oh. Does that even do anything? Oh, transfusion, there we go. But, but. <sighs> okay. I'm really liking this SMG. And it's a bandit. It takes a long time to reload. That's why I really want to play Borderlands 3, because the bandit weapons in that game are oh, insane. Also, I don't really think I care about finding... Oh, wait. As I say that. So I would come over here to look for something. Some pathway on this side, or really any side too. Like if I didn't find one on this side, just playing video games all my life, I would think to go somewhere else and look elsewhere, like I did with the cliff face. And that's just problem solving too. I mean, it's not just video games. Video games like hyper speed it up. Also, there's a ladder right here. Um, still no way to get down in there, though. This is just some more loot, I guess. Until unless we find. See, now I'm like looking for any kind of ladders or ways to jump up. That looks like a secret. Oh, wait. There's literally two ladders and a stairway. And I totally missed that this one that first popped out of the thing. Oh, if you could mantle, that would be so attainable. I'm going to get some more loot and... Probably nothing. I mean, that looks like... That definitely looks like you should be able to get up on there. Like, I'm almost wondering, like, if you could, like, run up that. <laughs> Which, yeah, no, that looks too steep. And then jumping up there would be good. But then, like, you know, and that doesn't look like there's a ledge. And even then, I can't really see... Too well there? Yeah, that looks too steep. But if you could get up top of that. Oh, and they block you at some point. There. That's where they block you. So you can't... Because you can actually get on this pipe, I believe. Or yeah, you can get on it because <clears throat> the ramp right there, I think it is. You drive up onto the pipe. And so you can run on the pipe, but then boom. They have a wall there. Anyways, we spent enough time on that. Let's get this last bit of ammo. If we even need it, maybe another loot goblin or whatever. I like the little loot goblins. Or whatever. And they're not loot goblins. <laughs> I think they're like mini looter or something like that. Technically, we are looters. You were a better shot. You wouldn't need to reload. And rioters, apparently, also. Oh, now see, that might be the ticket. 
get up there. We gotta change this back. That grenade is weak sauce. There we go. Oh wow, that cloud's still going. Stack the frenzy. Do it! So if we go up here, no, I don't, I don't think this will work. Anyways, it just looks like you should be able to get up there. And maybe on that, and then, I don't know. It's if anyone has done it or knows that it's been done, maybe throw it in the comments. There you go. Oh. I don't know. I've been enjoying the comments so far. I just feel like if you know if I get any bigger, I'm gonna like start missing comments, and you know I don't want to upset anybody. Or if I don't respond, I, that's just because I, I just don't know what to say. I'm, you know, I think I like most comments unless they're like spam. I think one just like said like some something random that unless it has some significance, I have no idea. But anyways, back to the game. This is ooh. Gun is good. <laughs> Stop it. There we go. Now we can afford ten boxes Every of ammo. Data in the Hyperion network ends up archived here. Mining information, security footage. It all flows to the stockade. Get it signed. What did I tell you? <laughs> Everybody, I stole the drop bar. Hyperion was no match for my secret. You were in the face shot. until you, you died by the time. When the time comes, no, right. we'll find now our way to the vault together. Sorry, I really shouldn't have that gun out when people are talking, but yeah, Brick uses his punch him in the eye until they die fighting style <laughs> or something like that. Uh, I love Brick. That was my first character in Borderlands 1. Oh, we could just talk about Borderlands 1, because I mean, I was going to go back and do a playthrough. I might still do that eventually. I've done one with like the Twitch streaming where the quality is not the best and the videos are super long. I still ramble a lot, so there's no change there, but... Um, oh yeah, we're in Robotville. But this is Firestone. This is the original place of Borderlands 1. So for those that know their Borderlands lore, you actually... You get off of a bus just on the other side of Firestone over there, which it is still slightly different. It's definitely modified, because Jack came in, and you can see there's all these um, lunar mortar. Or no, it's not lunar mortar. These are just the mortars. Because Elpis is the moon, which I actually almost started doing a, a pre-sequel video too. Oh, this is my favorite mission, one of my favorite missions. Thanks for accepting my job. Hyperion robbed my Uncle Teddy and sent him to die on this armpit of a planet. I need you to search his cabin in the arid nexus for something I can use to avenge his death. Yes, ma'am. You'll need to access my uncle's secret lab. Find some evidence that Hyperion stole his weapons. We keep warm! My witness, the Baja family's getting what's over. Yeah, TK Baja is also one of my favorite NPCs in Borderlands 1. So, the first missions, you get off the bus, you go through, and there's a bunch of bandits that you have to kill. Not a whole lot, but, I mean, a decent amount. Like, about 10, maybe? And... I want to say 10 throughout, like, the whole going into Firestone. And maybe the... Ah! Hate barf skags. And normally I feel like those are a new game plus thing. The true Vault Hunter mode, but I could be wrong. And the Borderlands 3, it's just all bets are off. There's all sorts of crazy new enemies and bandits and types of things. And ooh, and look, even a mission. An audio diary covered in slobber and stink. Skags eat everything. What a nice day. Just walking out in the sun, talking into my echo recorder, 
Hoping skags don't ambush me and break my gun into four separate parts before eating them. Oh, God! That is exactly what is happening! <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, skags ain't a gun? Oh, we have to tell which one of the ugly things has it. Just start hunting skags and hope for the best. Okay. Oh, all right. So we got to hunt skags, but we're also doing the TK Baja mission. So we'll leave that as a passive secondary mission. But this, this is painful. There's a hidden lever somewhere that'll get you into Teddy's basement. Oh, wait. Oh, never mind. That's a really sad mission at the end of Borderlands 1. So, totally spoilers. If you haven't played Borderlands 1, mute my audio for the next, like, 30 seconds. Or 20 seconds. I don't know. But basically, here we go. So, Teddy B... Or, TK Baja, or Teddy, I guess, as his family know, knew him, was ambushed and murdered by psychos and psycho midgets in Borderlands 1. So, you actually come here... And you fight a couple of bandits, like I think a, a midget pops out from under the porch. And then like there's some that come running through the field or something. And then you get up here and normally he's sitting here with his shotgun. And he has, you know, this thing standing up, I'm pretty sure. And there's a money box on it that you actually rob his money box that's sitting right next to him. <laughs> or I did. I mean, you know, you don't, you don't have to, but I loot everything. Also, before we pull the chain. Um, oh, and this chain was his severed arm. It was hanging from the thing. So now, and also, did you notice the shamrock on it? Yep, I think he's part of the the Zaffords clan. Oh, and then there's a chest behind it, but not in this one. Because there's a wall that was built. Yeah, this is TK Baja's shack. And as such, we shall now go inside. So there you go, end of spoilers. It's just very sad, yeah. Holy Spirit's bar. Yeah. Teddy like a lot of people on Pandora, evidently, kept all his echo correspondence. <coughs> Find something that proves Hyperion stole his design yeah. so I can sue him into oblivion. Okay. So this is also pretty sad, too. But, I mean, this isn't spoiler. How do I... <laughs> go down. There we go. Ooh, is this working? Ooh, that looks pretty cool. Eh, I don't like the forward drop handle. Like, I mean, I don't think that would be really comfortable. I mean, it looks adequate. Like, I mean, I could see TDR. And it's TDR. Like, you know, it's like, meh. They're supposed to be the guns that are meh, but you can throw them and explode them. And they have some pretty cool abilities. Anyways, I really came here to sell off some stuff. So we don't need to keep copies of Moxie's Good Touch. That's what I was trying to point out the other day. Like, because worst case, we can always just take a bunch of money there and get new ones. Now, these ones... Yes. Now this one, no. Because I've already got a better sniper. This one, yes, because it's anything that has like the colored text, I ba uh, the flavor text or whatever you want to call it, I basically like to try to keep and hoard. Now this, yeah, I'm not going to use it. This, probably not. I got a better one. These are fun. They make a lot of like the cool noise, like, -da 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 -da, and, like, you know, but at the same time, nah. Oh, this though, this looks pretty... Actually, you know what? I'm going to try that because we have Miss Moxie's, uh, whatever, shotgun. Uh, this one. Heartbreaker. And we have this one. Firefire Skater Gun. Wait, what? Oh. <sighs> Sorry, I thought we were still in the main room. I was like, I've never seen this ladder, but no, we're down in the cellar. <laughs> <laughs> well, first day on Pandora. Life's not too happy about the move, but I'm sure things will be all right. This here's the beginning of our new life. <laughs> oh, TK. And we are... Well, my wife's dead. <laughs> yep. Oh, and be careful not to open too many, and then do the group pickup, because you can pick up two echo recordings, and I think that causes issues. I think you only get to hear the one. So, like, that's why I opened a couple. Make the decision. Oh, yeah, get that. So we can sell that. I'm rising! 
A lot of shields. Or maybe just loot one at a time. Barry got ate by a big ass skag named Scar. Once I bury her with the lady finger, that cute little gun I made for her, I'll see if I can't get me some revenge. <laughs> you won't have died for nothing, Marion. I promise you that. Oh, TK. So, and actually, this whole mission is spoilers, by the way. So if you're wanting to not spoil Borderlands 1, I wouldn't watch this. Ah, I'm going to have to put BO1 spoilers in the description if I remember. Anyways, um... No, so you go kill Scar, and you get his leg back. Scar blinded me and ate my leg. Yep, there you go. <laughs> so. <laughs> I may be a blind, crippled widower, but that don't mean all's lost. Met some folks looking for the vault. I did the see you later joke a couple times, but they just didn't get it. Oh, and I did find that old message I got from Hyperion a few years back. Hit it in the corner for safe keep. All oh, rack spit. Bandits. Well, I'm sure this will turn out all right. Yep, spoilers, it does not. But I mean, I also found out that Scooter... Okay, so more super spoilers. Uh, Scooter dies in Tales of Borderlands. And like, I haven't played that game just because I don't really like to read a lot. Mr. Baha, we at Hyperion adore your wave rifle design so much that we have decided to appropriate it for ourselves. Our assassins are en route to your home on Isolus. Between us, Mr. Baha, I would suggest leaving the solar system before they arrive. Great. That was just what I was hoping to hear. Now, if you can find the blueprints for the weapon design they ripped off, I'll give you the first gun my uncle ever gave me. I just realized this is a horrible aimer. Like, I'm aiming actually more at the ceiling than straight ahead. Because if you look at the barrel, it's a flat top. And so, like, it actually lines up perfectly with it. No, this is horrible <laughs> accuracy. Ugh. Okay. You know, and everything is recorded pretty much these days. So, like, you gotta be careful with what you say and do, and like all things. Like with Mr. Blake there, being like, you know what? We're gonna kill you, and we're gonna take your design. Well, you could get sued. And it's like, pull this lever. You're not the boss of me. Maybe that's just on all the levers. Now it is a down arrow. I don't think I actually pulled. Ooh la la. Yes, TK's wave. A blueprint for TK's wave, an experimental shotgun designed by Uno's uncle, Teddy? Right. Hello, mercenary. Should you return those sensitive documents to the Hyperion Corporation, we can offer more than what Mr. Baja's niece can pay. A fine Hyperion armament, <laughs> for example. Don't listen to those corporate thieves. We both know my uncle deserves justice. And I'll throw in the first gun Uncle Teddy ever made for me. I mean, you had me at Uncle Teddy, like, I mean, I would be, I would do anything for TK Baja, avenge his killers, or, or, or avenge his death, not his killers, jeez. Also, we're gonna try this, uh, ooh, and here's some lore. Slag. Angel, get this message to whomever's organizing the construction out in the Nexus. No matter what happens, make sure that old bandit town, uh, Firestone, I think it's called, Make sure it stays standing. That piss end with a rest stop is where it all began. Oh, and another thing. I want it on company policy that instead of Firestone, we're changing its name to Jackville. Really twist the knife for those bandit bastards. You know what I mean? I, I want those vault hunting sons of bitches to see what I've done to this place. I want it to stand as a testament to their failure. They couldn't protect New Haven. They couldn't protect Firestone. And they're sure as hell not going to protect Sanctuary. Oh, we'll see about that, Boyle. <laughs> Actually, if you think about it, Colorado is just one big hodunk in, in Zafford's gang. Uh, let's deliver it to this one. See, look, you got the pretty little mailbox. Deliver to Una. Thank you. Hyperion 
Someone's gonna have to spend billions in legal fees once this hits the courts. I'm sorry I can't offer you more. Well, I mean, she could offer me billions once the court settlements come in, but I'm cool with that as long as Hyperion takes the hit and... Although, again, we should just really just oust Jack and Hyperion should... Well, I, actually, I don't know. I mean, the way that Blake was talking, yeah, that does need to be punished, but... Business ethics. All politicians and all business leaders should be required to have business ethics training and refreshers every so many years. Because, like, computer scientists have to do their certifications for every so many years. I think it's, like, every two years or five years or something. So I'm still, get, like, in the process of getting my first certifications for my career. So, I mean, I've passed cybersecurity once twice, but not, like, the practice tests. So you uncover the history of TK Baja. Gone, but not forgotten. Plus, this gun is really good. Look at it. It's like 800% plus 800% critical hit damage. So it does 330. Oh my gosh. It's like, well, I guess that's just times it by 8, right? Like 800, like 100 is 330. 200% would be 660. What was that? 24, like 2,400 damage for just a pistol, you know? And it doesn't even cost two bullets. Well, wait. Yeah, this is my new. Yeah, this is times two, and it costs two ammo. Let's look at this. Core Lady Fist. Daddy gave his little girl a gun to protect herself. I'm doing better for my kiddos. I'm trying to shape the whole world to fit like their their future. I'm trying to disarm all the violence through unity and peace. But we can be violent on video games all day, it's fine. Yes! They're designed for it. In fact, you can get paid really good money to design bots like these. Just like this. See, look at that critical hit damage. It destroys them. Alright, now let's get that other mission. Ooh, and we have that too. This is uh, Dr. Zed's original uh, place, and that's one of the old school looking chests from Borderlands 1. You knew you, you hit it good. Ah! Whew. I feel like that was a good thousand bucks. But yeah, I noticed we're up to like almost 15,000 now, and we still didn't sell out to Hyperion. Now, I have done that once, just to see what happens, just to test it. Oh, I do like this gun. Whew. I do. Served me well. Actually, maybe I'll put that. Yeah, I think I might actually do that. Oh, whoops. Hoard it around. Although some of this stuff, like that, <clears throat> the Dominator, that we got from the treasure map, I think, right? Like, dodge this, and it was... Oh, and Dukinu! If we can get critical hits with this? Or Dukino's mom, sorry. Oh, wait, wait. Mission. Mission. <laughs> And that's also like an ammo depot. But I like how Marcus like still left a vending machine there and closed the shop. Know your enemy. Never hurts to know more about the man you're killing. While you're in the Nexus, grab whatever files you can on Jack. Let's see, where are they all? There's just two? Oh, and this. Okay, let's go find the first Echo. Oh, this is actually really good. I wonder if we can still go this way. Uh, the car depot is out. Yeah, oh, this brings back... This is piss, wa piss, piss Water Gulch Gully or whatever it's called. And then it wraps around the back of that. And then you jump over it? Or no? Somewhere it wraps around. But we're going in here. This is where uh, Bonehead, I think? Bonehead? Oh yeah, because we're going to find Bonehead 2.0. He's just got bones on him. When my powers combine... I mean, unless they're sentient now. Oh, you just pop their arms off. Those killers thought they were good people too. <laughs> That's 
pretty dark. All right. Oh wait, wait. Yeah, we're right at 30 minutes. I think my alarm's set for like 31, 32 minutes, because I never know how long it's gonna take. Let me check. Yep, 10:02, and it's 10 o'clock. So in two more minutes. Well, let's finish this bonehead, and then we'll call it an episode. But see, yeah, uh, we just got bones on it. Like, yeah, the loot chest was over here where those two things were are now. And we'll get the Jack's first echo, and then we'll call it a day. Oh. Say hello to your new home, darling. You're like a And this is your throne. I want mommy. Where's mommy? She's not coming back, Angel. Don't get in a freaking chair. I don't want to. Oh. Good. There we go. In the chair. Yeah. Jack is a horrible person. Completely consumed by greed and envy. I mean, Handsome Jack, it says it all. Like, he's wearing a mask. He's probably ugly as sin under there. And, you know, not that there's anything like, I, you know, it's... Ugh. We've got a lot of ways to fix stuff like that, if it's an issue. If it's not an issue, which most of it isn't, it's mostly like our own Im images of ourselves. You know, he probably looks normal, actually. You know, now that I think about that, and he just thinks that he looks all messed up. So, then you get this. Like, this large-scale cesspool of just... Ugh. Anyways, ta-ta for now. I will see you in the next one.